I've always struggled to master, for want of a better word, is being fully present or free when on stage. Do you have any tips or experience on your own regarding it? That's an interesting question. That's deep. I like that. So, someone once said to me that acting is lying, and I, it took me a long time to realise that acting is just telling the truth from somebody else's perspective. But when you are on stage, I mean, I don't know how experienced you will be, so I don't want to come across patronising, but whenever I'm teaching anyone anything, I always say to them, I always start every lesson with, look, I'm going to teach you as if you are 10 years old. It is not because I think you're an idiot, and it's not because I'm trying to patronise you. It's because it's the only way that I can guarantee to myself that I've got across all the information that I need to get across in a way that is easily understandable for everyone in the class, for both you and for me. If I was teaching you, that's what I would say. And most people say to me, yep, yeah, totally get it, totally understand. If you are on stage, you've got a million and one things to remember. Are you hitting your blocking correctly? Are you projecting your voice correctly? Is your costume all okay and still? What's the next line? What's the line that came before it? What's the exact cue? Is the lighting in the right place? Are the people in the wings ready to come on at the right time? There's a thousand things for you to remember. And the best way that I find is to overlearn everything. Some people often say to me that... I mean, one of the worst things I ever heard an actor say was I was, you know, acting with someone and they said, oh, I don't, I don't learn. Oh, closet's there. They say, oh, I don't learn my lines too much because if I overlearn them, it won't sound like they're natural. I only learn enough so I'm still actually thinking about them when I'm on stage. And I said, that is the worst advice I have ever heard somebody give anyone. What you should do is overlearn every single line so you don't need to give any brain power whatsoever to remembering what your next line is. It is completely natural. You need to automate as many processes as you possibly can so your brain power can be effectively freed up for acting. Learn the lines to the point where it's completely natural and then make it sound like it's the first time you've ever said it because that is acting. So if you're struggling with being present on stage, one of the best ways that you can kind of free up brain power is saying to yourself, right, can I overlearn something to the point where I don't need to think about it? If you're struggling with being present, it's because your brain is distracted with other things. And sometimes you can be distracted with other actors. And I find one of the best ways to effectively calm myself when it comes to working with other actors is I learn their parts as well. So I've been in... I've your eyes. That guy really hates his job. I've been in stage plays before where I've learned every single character's part. I know the entire script. And I've sometimes been in scenes where I've said my line and the other actor has kind of just stared at me, been like, I don't know my line. And I'm there like, don't worry, mate. I've got you. And I'll just, I'll deliver their line, but in a way that my character would say it as well, which I think is great because it gives me more lines. I've had directors come to me before and say, hey, uh, do you know this part, it's bigger than the part you've got, but we need someone to play it. And I've gone, yeah, I know that. I'll do that as well. That's fine. Overlearn everything. The more you know, the less you need to worry about. And someone just in the chat said, what about improvisation? So I'm going to give you a little cheat right now. Improvisation is not always completely random, and it's not always completely improvised. I made a joke in one of the last streams that got clipped saying, you know, streamers, when they say big things are coming, they should say something like, I'm going to invade Croatia. You think that was random? No. Croatia is the exact country that Jazz Emu uses in his song. I just stole that from him. When you improvise, you're not trying to think of something brand new that has never been done before. You're trying to think of two or three things that you already know that you are very familiar with that you can put into a new setting. So when you're on stage and someone goes, oh my god, I've never seen that scene before. Okay, cool. It might just be three or four scenes that I can remember and think of that I'm going to smash together. One of the things that I do all the times is, you know the, um, the film Starship Troopers? I love Starship Troopers. I think it's fantastic. One of my favourite lines in that film is when the news reporter starts going, it's an ugly planet, a bug planet. That cadence, that phrasing, that effectively scaffolding, if you will, of phrase is, it's a something planet a something planet. You can take that and use that in pretty much any kind of phrase if you want to. I mean, you can... I was in a an improv scene once where they were saying, okay, you're a news reporter at a, a new club. Go. And I just ran forward and went, it's... it's a fantastic club. It's a disco club. 
And that was just me taking the framework that I knew from a different film and adding in words that were relevant to this specific situation. You can take the framework that you know and add it into a new situation with new words that relate to the situation. And people will think, oh my goodness, you've just invented something new. Hi Josh, is this game from the 90s? Close, it was made in 2002. So if you're struggling on stage, I know this has been a long answer. It's an awful fort. A dry fort. See? You just take the silly things and add them in. So when you're struggling to improvise, it's often because you're trying to come up with something that's never been done before. There's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new in Hollywood. Come up with two or three ideas that have already been done and mash them together in brand new and interesting ways. That's the way I do it. It's an empty planet. It's a boring planet. Starfield. Yes. Oh, it just works. See, when, when a funny thing happens in a Bethesda game and you say, it just works, that's not being original. That's just taking the framework of Todd's joke, slapping it on something new. So if I was going to say, right, you know, I need to be present on stage, how much brain power can I free up by thinking of ev overlearning everything else? And then if I need to improv, can I effectively pre-plan improv? Where's your uniform? Oh, I took my spear out and he turned around. That's what she said. No time for jokes. Now we need to go and talk to the dude again. <laughs> I'm going to steal some booze. I'm going to take that. This is mine now. Close the door. Stealth mode. This is mine. Sujana. All of it. In my inventory. All of it. Dropped on the floor. Oh yeah. All of it picked up. Now the thief flag has gone because that's how the game works. I am very fast. Do you mean like thinking of comedy? Because I am very Where's quick with uniform? comedy. You know, I, I get there in two minutes. Don't clip that out of context. Again, that wasn't me being original. I was prepared for that kind of joke. As soon as you said get there quick, I thought, right, quick, we can make a sexual joke with this. We can tie that together with a really fast joke, comedy, quickie thing. It all just works. You're all... Some of you go, oh my goodness, he's he's so funny and so fast. I'm thinking of this two or three steps ahead. You know, you think I'm playing chess. I'm playing 4D poker checkers. That's what I'm playing. And then all the dominoes will fall like a house of cards. Yeah. Even that was stolen from Future Armor. Nothing original happens in this stream. All I'm doing is just remixing and reblending all the other comedy that I've heard before. And some of you will appreciate it. But none of it's new. Absolutely none of it. Asu. That's just the a place called Asu. I don't know if that's important. But I mean one more. Ass you. Fine. I'll go into the ass. Hello, Josh Drive says. You can see other clips like this and more over on the Twitch channel, Josh Drive Hayes. Come and join us live sometime. It's like YouTube, but longer and worse. 